shit. Yeah, I got it. I'm getting it. Tell him, bye, swing, kill up. Just gonna roll a coconut. because you have a degree doesn't necessarily mean that you're health literate. Alright, so yeah guys, we're gonna get my car. Um, what do you call that? Service today. And look, they still have the Christmas... Oh, where is my key? Hold on. I have the Christmas spirit. Oh, this is their new electric car. Let's see. Oh, what's the price on it? Oh, and this is the electric pump. Let me pump it up. Ooh. Not the lounge chair. Not the Mercedes Benz lounge chair. I'm dead. And they made fake grass. So fresh and nice. So if I make you bundle, would you sell it, get your lump sum and move on? Or would you try to profit from it? Maybe use it as a rental, as a business place, if it's more on the commercial side and deal with the hassle or task of you know dealing with renters tenants being a renter dealing with tenants trying to get the profit i feel like things are just not as affordable as one time and i don't want, i don't want to be homeless child i would try to hold on to it me personally but um to me lump sums have a way of sounding like a lot of money it just has a way of sounding like a lot of money but like it just goes quickly especially if, especially if you don't have a steady income so, let's get my nails done 
um my eyebrows are pretty much okay i do my own eyebrows i might um groom them a little bit more but the only thing for me to really do is to just zhuzhin up my hair right now i'm having clippings right now i'm having clippings but um but yeah like i'm starting to feel good now that the grooming process is almost done self-care matters guys it really boosts the it really boosts the mood and then when i go home i'm gonna clean up a little bit um make something to eat do some contact and content not contact and just take it easy a nice chill saturday sunday i'm thinking about going shopping depending on the weather like i said it's supposed to snow if the weather is um not fit to be outside then i'll just pretty much take it easy my birthday is next month february 26th so yes i'm a pisces the two fish in a circle so um i have to start planning my birthday trip so most likely i'll do that tomorrow like i'll finalize where i'm going for my birthday and go on youtube watch some vlogs of people that been there just to get an idea of like how my itinerary to look and start booking things this year i want to be a little bit more like organized with it like i don't want to like usually when i go on vacation it's very um like impromptu like i literally sometimes build my itinerary when i get to the actual hotel like my last two vacations when i went to thailand i built my itinerary at the hotel <laughs> When I went to France, I built my to South of France, I built my itinerary when I got there. Singapore, just about the same thing. No, Singapore, I think I had a little bit more time. And Ibiza, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Like, I literally, because I'm so last minute, I'm so busy, which is not good. Like, this time around, I want to plan it and just have less anxiety. Like, I want to be in a central area where it's easy to get to everything and to, um, you know, and it's gonna, you know, just to just make it easier, more seamless, because it's my birthday. So yeah. So yeah. So I have quite a full agenda this week, and I feel like it's already Saturday. Then it's about to be Saturday. Like, I feel like the weekend goes by so fast, but so far I think I'm getting quite a few things done. So it's been a very productive weekend. Like, wherever I park, people always park next to me it's weird i'll specifically try to go as far away from other people as possible and the next person will just come directly next to me not not even a car over or like two cars over. <laughs> i think do come directly next to me like okay this is a prime example right okay so and two three parking spots right and there was two parking spots over here and this guy literally comes directly next to me Couple of time, I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna open ya. Boom. Anna, 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 Anna. I saw my rock, I saw my move. Papa, Pila, Pila. Tell him, bar, swing, Pila, Panaras. Papa, Pisa, Pila, Linka, Pila. Tell him, bar, swing, Pila, Pala, Pala, Pala. good morning right now it's the next day um yesterday i was supposed to record me getting my nails done and um cook when i got home but i was so exhausted after all those errands um i did get my nails done i got a nice classic french spirit fingers and that's my problem sometimes i like try to cram so much stuff into one day and um it's a little unrealistic but it's just like the ambition to get it all done is mental my body is just like so weak so um i did sleep i do feel kind of refreshed like i feel like i can use some more sleep but um i'm just gonna get up make breakfast um brush my teeth fix my hair um and then i'm going to clean my room so um i can take you guys along with me i have to work on being hard on myself it's just like dang i'm so disappointed i didn't get everything done 
because I wanted to record a YouTube video today, a motivational video today. Um, but And I wanted to get it up today. But worst case scenario, I'll just record it today. And then I'll get it up by tomorrow. So, yeah. I feel like I just have to remind myself that nothing great is rushed. So, like, you got to take your time. It has to be calculated. It has to be meticulous. Fine tooth comb. You know I'm coming. Life's fine. Fucked up. You should have wore your bunny. Run it from me. Run it from me. Run it from me. Um, so we have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, granola, coconut, and oatmeal. So this is my breakfast, y'all. Being that quite a few of you like my last come to work with me vlog, I decided to do another one. Um, I can't believe it's Monday morning already. Like, where did the weekend go? I feel like the weekend is literally like a scam. I feel like it comes and then it goes so quickly. But um, here we are. So we're at work. So it's Monday morning. So I do have my breakfast. I have my um, morning matcha. And this time they got my order right. I got a grande with oat milk iced matcha so i got my morning matcha from starbucks but i actually prefer it from Bourbon street coffee but they were closed they don't open till 6 30 and i got here early and i didn't feel like waiting outside in the cold um and typically um blank street coffee opens around um 6 30 so i would have had to wait outside in the cold and you know it's pretty cold out here in the new york city and then i got a banana loaf put some lip gloss on okay. yeah, on Mondays we submit our timesheets here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that but before I submit my timesheet I'm gonna look to see what the day is looking like again I'm here pretty early so um, um, I like I feel like I don't like the anxiety and the rush of Monday morning so I try to get to work early so that I can um, just feel at ease and just get a head start and kind of see what my day is going to look like 
I like to strive for a nice stress-free um, work environment as much as I can control that. I have remote access to my work email, so I'm able to see um, the volume of emails that I get <coughs> when I'm not at work. And last time I checked, I didn't have too, many, too much emails or too many emails, so I think I should be okay. So first, um, we're gonna log in. I have like 10 different passwords. But I realized that it's much easier to just write them down so you don't forget them um, instead of trying to remember all of them. <laughs> so uh, let's just lock in. Uh, okay, so the first um, thing I'm logging into is um, my prescribing software. Uh, we use RxNT. I'll show you guys that um, in a minute when we use RxNT. This is what I use to prescribe medications. Um, so I typically click client login. Press E prescribing. Oh my god, last time last night I tried to um film some content, but oh my god, I had such a lazy Sunday. I literally slept and the bulk of Sunday. I made breakfast, I slept the bulk of Sunday, and then towards <laughs> towards the end of the day, maybe around 7 p.m. I got the strength to clean up a little bit and like do my hair and that was pretty much it I was so 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 tired <laughs> and then my password to my computer is also um, there's like a second verification step through my phone so that it's super secure because it's a lot of patient information um, so we do the verification with my phone and then we are logged in <coughs> <clears throat> so I have double screen so if I'm looking this way it's the one directly in front of me then there's one to the left of me and it's like a world of difference when you have two screens I never knew that working with two screens was so convenient it's like I don't think I can go back after this so um, yeah so that's why you'll see like my head swivel um, <clears throat> So well, let's log into the patient portal system. If you believe it's January 8th already, like if you have anything, any goals, oops, wait, why is that doing that? Any goals, any, and this goes for me as well. Like I have a few things that I have to get going on. Um, you need to just do it because um, yeah, time is just not joking. Um, I have quite a few to things to, on my to-do list that I need to get done. I'm like, the fact that it's the eighth already, like, what are we doing? It's scary. <laughs> it is so scary. Yeah. Yeah. I'm praying that this is a year of less procrastination because I am queen procrastination, okay? Or queen procrastinator. So first thing I check when I go into the patient portal is um, do I have any um, appointments for the day? So um, that's what I'm checking right now. Um, and then it looks like... Um, yeah, so I do have an 8.30 appointment. So right now it's 6.57. <laughs> So I'm pretty early. So um, when I have appointments, um, although it's already here, it's already here for me. I like to so um, I like to just kind of write it down, I'm gonna post it. Um, so And then I also like to look in the future as well, like our day or two, just so I can mentally prepare myself. Um, let's see, okay, then for tomorrow. All right, that's fine. So I have, oop, 
one for open today. Um, then I like to next I like to see how many patients we have on the list today. <clears throat> today we have three um, nurse practitioners today, um, myself and two other um, or two other nurse practitioners and myself. So um, we're very well staffed today. We have a total of ten patients today so far. Um, and then there's we do accept walk-ins um, and um, people can be added onto the list so typically you can start off with 10 but finish with 20 so it's not a, the best indicator of how many patients you have for the day but it's a start so we'll start with that or we'll take that and then next is um, I look at my labs so I have two people to call from um, the last time that I was here um, on Friday I tried to the two people um, that I wanted to discuss their lab work with um, they did not answer their phone um, and I didn't want to leave a message because it wasn't super alarming or super critical it's just that we need to keep a close eye on um, certain lab values um, so I'll typically try to keep calling um, until I get them if I really cannot get them then I'll leave a message but I try not to leave messages because I don't want to worry anyone um, you know cause anyone to like be stressed <laughs> I don't want to add any stressors in an already stressful world we live in so um, typically I'll just try to keep calling until I get them and I can speak to them personally um, unless it's, unless it's a super critical lab work that requires immediate follow-up then I would um, leave a message for them when I say leave a message leave a message for them to call back not um, disclosing any patient information we do not disclose any patient information um, over the telephone okay it's a HIPAA violation we do not do that so, so I already have two patients that I have to call and typically I um, start calling patients regarding um, abnormal lab work after 11 o'clock um, by then I assume they are up um, my patient population is typically older um, so typically they are up and I typically haven't Woken anyone up to discuss labs before, so there you have it. We're gonna go over lab work. So, in addition to the two that are already here, um, that I have to call back, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's seven other lab works to go over. Mm -hmm. All right, so cholesterol, um, mildly elevated, it did increase from the last time. And then our low density lipoprotein. Um, LDL cholesterol and non HDL cholesterol are also slightly elevated. Bilirubin mildly elevated as well. And if we look at last time, it's up by 0.1. Um, liver enzyme ALT which is more liver specific slightly elevated as well the AST um, is actually within normal range and the GGT is within normal range as well Cholesterol was slightly high, not significantly, just mildly, mildly high. And one thing I noticed, she did have some blood in the urine. Um, she is, um, well, based on her age, she is postmenopausal. Um, let's just look at her medical history. What was documented for her? going to give her a call just to look into that because postmenopausal postmenopausal bleeding is is um, essentially an alarm finding that needs to be followed up. Um, but we need to, I need to speak with the um, the um, patient first to see if she's noticed 
if her urine has been dark, if she's noticed any blood in the urine, is she taking any blood thinners, um, what medication is she on, has she had any recent procedures, um, and you may need to repeat the urinalysis just to confirm and uh, follow up from there. So, um, so I'm just going to make a notation. I have a total of three patients that I need to call back. I'll go over one more on camera and then I'll go over the rest off camera because it's pretty much tedious. Um, um, and then we'll come back. This, so my second patient has um, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, um, a bilirubin that's high but Pretty much his baseline, his blood movement has um, been trending, has always been high. Um, it's essentially his baseline number. Um, aside from that, everything else is okay. okay. Again, slightly high cholesterol. Mm, everything else looks good. literally gives me the energy the boost of energy I need without the GI storm of caf of coffee <laughs> that's the perfect way for me to describe matcha or why I like it it's literally um, you know the boost of energy that I need without the GI storm and it like feels so healthy because it's green like, I'm done going over lab work and now I have a total of five patients that I have to call by the end of the day um, just to have a verbal conversation with them and just let them know what we need to keep our eye on. Um, um, one person's fasting blood glucose has been a little bit elevated, um, so we may have to call him in for um, a glucose tolerance test um, just to see, um, you know, just as a diabetic screening tool. Um, but yeah, we'll have that conversation with him um, on the phone. Um, so now I'm checking my email. Um, I haven't submitted my timesheet yet, but it's still pretty early. Um, right now it's 7.20. And I like to go through my labs early on just so I know. It just allows me to have a better layout of my day so that I know, um, okay, I have to um, call back this, this amount of patients. And I have an idea of what I need to speak to them about. Um, because I do like to allow a lot of time, um, but you know, because you know, although a patient may be um, very educated um, <clears throat> or have some medical or nursing knowledge, um, you know, health literacy um, just because you have a degree doesn't necessarily mean that you're health literate. So it's our job to allow time for um, you to ask questions and to um, provide you with accurate and the most up to date and evidence based. So, um, so yeah, I like to let, allow a lot of time um, when calling patients back. That's why I'd like to leave it towards the end of the day, end of the day when I'm um, completed seeing all my patients, so I don't feel rushed, or so that the patient don't have, I don't feel rushed, and the patient doesn't feel that I'm rushing them either. So, so I have a email from one of um, the secretaries stating, excuse me, excuse me, that one of my patients. Um, needed a nebulizer so I am going to um, double check so I did put in the last time he I saw him on last Thursday and I did put in a prescription for him to have a nebulizer um, and I'll show you that I ordered a nebulizer and the tubing We put in for the nebulizer machine to be there. Okay, so um, so now that we got the nebulizer situation squared away, um, um, 
just I got a um, notification from the pharmacy um, we do have a pharmacy team here obviously um, but I don't know if you guys have um, watched the news or have been watching the news lately but Flovent which is an inhaled cortical steroid um, it's used mostly for asthmatic patients or primarily um, as you know asthma is like an inflammatory it is an inflammatory process so it helps to just decrease inflammation to avoid the cascade of events that eventually um, culminate in um, bronco um, constriction um, and further bronco spasming which can be heard or auscultated as wheezing um, so this medication is a brand name medication and um, starting this year um, it, it will be no longer available um, um, to be prescribed because of um, um, because of the cost as you know medicine is a big business um, and um, you know healthcare is a large um, business um, and a lot of pre um, prescribers are, or insurance companies are not co are not paying for it um, because of its cost so instead um, we will be um, prescribing the generic form which is fluticasone um, I had my very first patient that I had to um, prescribe fluticasone the generic form um, last week so this um, luckily I got wind of this from the news from watching the news so it is important to watch the news guys so I already had wind of this um, but it's also good for it to be reinforced um, and to know that I you know it was uh, that um, fluticasone is on our formulary so um, so that's a good update. I know what labs to go over. I check my emails. Um, I do have some reports to go over, but I can go over them a little bit later. Um, I'm gonna. Try, my stomach is kind of feeling a little irritated. I do want to eat my breakfast, but I'm a little nervous. <coughs> um, I don't know if you know, but I recently got over a stomach virus, so my stomach is not back to par, but it's slowly getting there. So, baby steps. <laughs> I don't want to take it too um, fast or too quickly, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish sipping on my matcha. I'm going to go ahead and um, log into my timesheet. I do have some um, learning modules to do. Um, today doesn't seem like it's going to be super busy, so I'll do a little bit of that. But yeah, that's pretty much how the day is looking so far. I'll tune in um later it's 7 53 i'm still waiting for my 8 30 appointment so i'll put in my time sheet and then go from there so yeah stay tuned guys my morning matcha yeah, and now we're about to head to the office so let's go hey guys so today is actually Wednesday happy hump day basically where I left off in the last vlog um, I had a pretty busy day um, and I also did have a meeting so um, I didn't get to really vlog the remainder of the day so I decided to pick up today this is like part two because yesterday was incomplete i have a lot of reports to go over so um that would be like an interesting um you know like perspective um 
and as you know even as a nurse um, documentation and you know the documentation portion of uh, being a provider um, for a healthcare professional is the bulk of the job, right? So yeah, you can see a patient, assess a patient, um, and that can take, um, you know, 20 minutes or less, um, but you have to document, okay? Documentation for billing purposes, documentation um, to protect your license, and also documentation for, um, you know, for the safety of the patient so that you know, so you have a reliable um, resource um, primary resource to go back to um, to review um, you know the patient's history and what transpired so that you know how to move forward and treat the patient my favorite I repeat that my favorite matcha I love to get from Blank Street Coffee so your girl is really 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 happy my hair is kind of doing its own thing I didn't use a silk scarf last night I used a cotton scarf which I shouldn't have uh, but yeah so my hair is like not lately so I want to get a picture for Instagram yeah. few moments later He had a uh, slide that said, um, it is um, human to error. So basically, um, humans make mistakes. It's undeniable, we all make mistakes. And if you're a healthcare professional, um, you know, obviously you don't wanna make a big mistake where it's life threatening or you don't wanna make an irreversible mistake. You know, he just basically told us like, you will make a mistake in your line of work. You just, you know, the, the best thing is to be very honest, don't lie about it. And then uh, take it from there. Obviously, there's malpractice insurance, um, and um, that is an extra layer of protection, um, depending on the situation, depending on your insurance. Um, but yeah, it is human to make errors. We are all human. We all make mistakes in our professional, personal lives. So um, you know, it's always good to double and triple and quadruple check your work, especially if time permits. Like I'm at work a little bit early, so. And that's why I don't like to review patient um, patients' documentation reports, works, and labs. Um, um, like after when I'm super tired, I like to do it kind of early when I'm really awake. Um, I feel like I have something on my lip. Maybe not. All right. So now that I'm done with the lab work. Um, today we have about <clears throat> 12 people so far on the list. No one has checked in yet. And again, as I said before, the list can grow. So we can have 12 people now, but um, that can definitely change um, soon. So. And my camera battery is about to die. Great. All right, so now that I have some downtime, I'm going to go over some reports. And I'm going to use up to date for a recommendation for a um, care for a patient so I want to show you guys that as well um, let me change my battery life moves fast and you do what you want I decide doing what I want 